हेलो आकाश हाय मनी या वेलकम रेट नो या इट्स अ वेटिंग रूम में है ना हां uh, हां कुछ लोग वेटिंग रूम में हैं आर दे एबल टू हियर यू राइट या आर दे एबल टू हियर अस राइट नाउ और नॉट यस यस यू आर यू आर ऑडिबल नो नॉट टू यू टू एवरीवन No, everyone. Uh, I have muted it all. You muted, no, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Is Omar online? Uh, I'm checking it right now. So he's uh, he sent a message that I'm online. Money. I'm asking Anuj if he can. Can he speak for two three minutes when I ask him to? Yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. Uh, Anuj, I have unmuted you. Hello. Yes, please. Can you hear? Yes. Anuj, can you hear? Yeah, Anuj. Uh, if you want to speak something, Anuj. answering so i am sending a text to him anuj can you hear yeah anuj Hello, hi Mani. Hi. I'm on. Hi Akash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We are only one. Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, Anuj, this side from Ashley Deccan chapter. Yeah. Anuj, it is just three for us of us who are able to hear you right now. I'm Akash. Yeah. Hi Akash, boss. How are you? Good, good, good. How are you doing? How is the family doing? 
everyone is fine everyone is safe and sound can you hear me yes yes, sir, yes. yes. oh thank you so good morning, morning. good morning good morning i'm just asking anuj if you can share your experience for a couple of minutes when i ask you to do that is it possible yes yes uh, yes sir i can definitely definitely i can for a couple of minutes every minutes one side sure. of the uh, what leadership you is all about then i'll ask you to do that okay so should i share now can you just no 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 not now once the presentation okay. starts uh, okay once This is true. I will take over, and then mine. The first slide I have is for leadership view. So then okay. I'll explain leadership is all about, and then you can uh, share your experience. <coughs> okay. So Mani, you would unmute him at that particular time when I yes, ask yes, him yes, to yes, say. Yes, yes. Right. Good morning, Mani ji. Ah, good morning, Mukul ji. How are you? I'm good, ji. I'm good. Abu, thank you, sir. Yeah. How many people have joined? Around just thirty-five right now. Okay. Good. Good morning, everyone. I am Akshay here. Okay. Yeah, sure. You can speak now. Uh, I am just saying good morning to everyone. Good. I will start after uh, four minutes. All right. This is uh, uh, Anuj. This is ask. Let me take one option, right? For money. In the meantime, you can play some video uh, related to Ashre. If you have any, uh, Umair bhai, up. If you have any laptop in your video, I think uh, money is uh, admin. I think he must have uh, access to run the videos. Okay, so I am making you as a host right now. Not now. I don't have video at that time because I am in the office now in my friend's office. Right. So no worries. Uh, Anuj, you can speak something uh, for uh, for the YA or for, uh, for start before starting. So you can share some experience for two minutes. You're asking me to. I I, I believe Ashu is also on the uh, meeting. So I believe Ashu can oh, share Ashu the experience can. also. Yes. Okay. Ashu, are you here? Yes, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ashu Gupta, Assistant Regional Vice Chair uh, of RAL Region at Large in YA Committee. I, uh, hi, Umar. Thank you so much for accepting our request. I can see you the smiling face. <laughs> Great. I think this is a very good opportunity that this webinar. First of all, thanks to Ch Chandigarh Chapter and Deccan Chapter to take an initiative to train our YA members that what YA can do. The young engineers in Ashray. in uh, in our community in ashray there are lot of opportunities for ya and uh, this is a very good presentation this will be the very good presentation to understand how can they involve more in ashray and contribute about the new things what's happening so as a just want to share my experience because i belongs to uh, india chapter now it is a rajasthan chapter we i belongs this chapter and in last 7 years of my membership in ashray i learned a lot as a ya member i contributed i attended a several yli programs with the young leaders in international programs uh, the fortunately in the two years back uh, i was selected as a developing leader award from india and this was a great experience because as an as a young engineers you don't know where is the technology heading 
the ashray is a platform where you can do lot of networking with the people <laughs> whom you cannot get appointment but because of ashray because of yea member you can get the chance to get appointment to learn new technical uh, manuals so guys uh, i think be uh, be active in ashray if you are ashray member if you are not ashray member become member very soon and be part of the society because the society gives lot of backend there's a lot of technical committees available i'm sure the umar and akash will uh, will train you more on that and but whenever it, any question because lot of uh, man, 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 material is available on the website as well uh, whenever you click on the ashray ya you will get to know but still the people are not aware that is the reason chandigarh chapter and dekan chapter taken an initiative to train the people on ashray what ya opportunities are so because when when i become ashray i was also not aware what are the opportunities for ya but now i can say this is a very good time in during my time i didn't able to see any webinar during those days but you are fortunate that you are having a webinar with the our reason at large ya chair who belongs uh, to pakistan and in all countries like 25 countries i can see the participant from all over the all over the part of the world not only india so this is uh, something uh, we need to learn in this uh, next uh, uh, next one hour that of course what ya is doing so i think umar this is from my side you can uh, move forward money is there, is there anything you want to or highlight me about why is in that yeah thanks sir uh, this is the only thing we just uh, would like to highlight what are the opportunities and uh, now i would request uh, mr akshay who is a ya chair to start with the uh, today's webinar please okay thank you mani i am audible yeah please yeah uh, Hello everyone. I am Akshay Kumar, YA Chair, Ashray Chandigarh Chapter. Welcome to this webinar organized by Ashray Chandigarh Chapter. I am sure you all aware about Ashray. Ashray is the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. It consists. all the professionals member related to hvac and building industries so welcome to the uh today webinar this is a initiated by ashray chandigarh chapter during this lockdown period we we scheduled series of webinars uh, series of webinars today is our third webinar on opportunities for young engineers in ashray now i would like to introduce today presenter mohammad omar khan and mr akash tel mohammad omar khan is regional vice chair for ya in the ashray region at last and member bog in ashray pakistan chapter he is affiliated with ashray for last 9 years he will speak on all about ya and activities conducted for ya in ashray rl mr akash tel is regional vice chair for research promotion in ashray regional at large and member member bog in ashray western chapter he is affiliated with ashray for last 10 years he will speak on journey as ya and opportunities for ya in ashray a recorded version of this webinar will be available on youtube subscribe our digital youtube digital channel ashray chandigarh quickly after ending of this session now i request mohammad omar khan to start this session as per schedule uh mani mani please start his presentation yes 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 i am sharing the thank you very much akshay Yeah. Thank you, sir. I I would like to thank the Mani and Akshay for organizing this wonderful webinar uh, for the benefits of YA members, because everyone know that uh, we are in lockdown. Everybody is in lockdown, and uh, this is the best opportunity to discuss related to YA to our young engineer to guide them. Because when this lockdown will finish, we will come out with a pro better professional and uh, to. to serve our this society in a better way thank you um now 
I would like to start uh, this webinar. First of all, we must know what is YEA. YEA, uh, the extra members who are of 35 years or under, they all come between the YEA Young Engineer and ASHRAE. The main purpose of YEA to enhance our, our membership benefits for young professional members by identifying and activities and service focus on their needs. The, the services focus on the needs of young engineers. This society always work for the betterment for the young professionals who are the member of this organization, of this society. Now you can see the slide. It is all about the HA, how HA membership, how HA works. There are different committees. There are different alliance societies. There are different uh, board of directors which are working under one, um, one umbrella for the betterment of HA. And uh, if you go through this uh, slide, you will see a slide of young engineers. We, the people who are young engineers in Asia. Next slide, please. Next. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have, as I have informed you, first of all, we must know who is young engineer. The man who are 35 years, the people who are in 35 years old or under they all becomes the, uh, under the umbrella of young engineer. And as, you know, as we all know that the young engineer has more potential, that's why they have make, uh, made a commit, separate committee for young engineers who can work for the betterment of the futures of young professionals. Next. Yes. The Young and YEA committee is divided in different three parts, in three subcommittees. As we uh, we are in 14 uh, standing committee member in YEA, and we have distributed all committee in different uh, develop, uh, in different committees. There are three main committees. One is professional development, second personal development, and third is outreach committee. The tasks of these committees are different from one another. If we look about, uh, go through this chart, then you will well known that then you will uh, know that the every committee has their own task and all the tasks are beneficial for the uh, young engineers as we uh, if we talk about the professional development committee there are a lot of uh, activities which is going to be uh, which is happening hello hello no no please yes, Umar, we can hear you okay okay, please okay. Hear me. okay sorry. yeah yeah so there are a lot of activities which is uh, happening under the shadow umbrella of professional development committee. If we go through these uh, events, there are a lot of awards, leadership weekends, leadership U, HVSC design competition, technical competition, conferences and network events, student retention, because the main membership which we can get from we, if we retain the student member and transfer their membership from their student membership to the Smart Start program to uh, make them a YA member. So these all are the tasks for uh, professional development committee and every, anybody can be the part of this committee who want to volunteer himself to work for the committee. He can uh, volunteer him and be a part of these committees. Then there is another personal development committees as uh, we, uh, we think that we divided a human or a young engineer in three parts professional development, personal development, and outreach. These three are very beneficial and important for the grooming of young engineers. Then if you talk about the personal development committee, there are a lot of uh, events that, like YA Leadership Weekend, YLI, there are uh, chapter member outreach and CRC as we are giving PowerPoint pre presentation to young engineers because there are a, a lot of opportunities in ASHRAE which offers to YA for groom themselves and to become the best leader of future for Asia. Then there is a third committee, which is known as Outreach Development Committee. Uh, YA Leadership Weekend, regional uh, uh, conferences are works under this committee as this uh, Ashu Gupta is the part of Outreach Committee. He has organized YA uh, Leadership International in Dubai. So it was a great uh, and a successful event, which was organized by Outreach Development Committee. And uh, in next slide, I will uh, tell you what are these development, developing leader awards, leadership view, and other uh, activities which are done by these uh, subcommittees can benefit you. 
if we talk about the uh, programs, award, and resources of YEA, there are a lot, of, a, a long list which is working. Uh, if we talk about the YEA Leadership Weekend, Leadership International, the purpose of these weekends and international is to groom your uh, leadership skills, soft skills, and presentation skills to become, to make you the leader of future. Because the young engineers are the leader of future of this session. We have to uh, we have to take the responsibilities from our seniors and we have to run this society. So there are a lot of, a lot of programs which teach us about how our society works, how we can benefit ourselves from this society and how can we the, uh, make us fruitful. Uh, we can make our time fruitful and get benefits as much as can from this uh, society, this organization. Next slide, please. Can we go to the next slide, please? Yeah. Why a leadership weekend? Our next three slides will be regarding uh, leadership weekend and leadership international. These, the purpose, the passive purpose of these events are on your networking skills, presentation skills, other soft skills which you would require in your professional life and in HA. So the purpose of these events to train you for leadership in HA. HA want you to take a lead in HA. So that's why it has designed three main events. This is YLW, YLI and YLW 2.0. As the YLW, the YLW and YLW 2.0 is uh, organized in the part of America, in South America and North America, so uh, they have also organized, arranged a separate program for other part of uh, the country uh, of the uh, world. This is known as YLI. YLI, the YL Leadership International. This, uh, if we talk about the past events of YLI, it has been uh, organized in different parts of the world, Sri Lanka, Dubai, uh, Kuala Lumpur, India, Greece, Hong Kong, Serbia, and last was, was in Dubai, which was led by Ashu Gupta, uh, ARVC for region, uh, Subregion 1, and he is also working in the subcommittee of Outreach Committee. So main purpose of these events is to motivate our young engineers to guide them what the ASHRAE is doing in, uh, globally. Because if I'm, to, if I'm sitting here and I'm, uh, I'm going through uh, and I'm studying the website, I cannot benefit as much if, we, if, I, can, uh, if I would uh, attend the events like that, where the uh, participant of different region, different chapter, different countries are coming because the different regions, different countries have different ideas. When we sit together, we can gather the ideas, what they are doing in their chapter and what we are. Then we can, we can do the better. We can take ideas from others and we can do the better and for the benefits of our YEA members in our chapter. The basically, these trainings are being trained by the professional trainers as the, the responsible of, hello? Hello. Yes, Umar, continue, please. We can hear you. Wait, wait. I think I was uh, mute by the admin. Okay. As the result and the experiences which the uh, YA member has shared, who has uh, attended these three events, it uh, it is a uh, very beneficiary and. Due to these comments, now we are emphasizing all the chapters to organize their own YLI, YLW, their own leadership weekend. As I have seen, uh, the Indian chapter of Mumbai, uh, if I'm forgetting the name, they have organized in Goa last year. And I think it was a huge successful event. So I will must appreciate and I will uh, encourage you and uh, advise you to uh, organize your own why a leadership weekend to groom because not every member can attend this event because as there is a limitation of participation because so many chapters are participating in this uh, event so the people who are gaining information from them i think when they uh, go uh, back to their chapter they must organize their own leadership weekend to guide in in uh, in Ashray. 
so i think it will be most beneficial for the all the member because the main task of ycc is not only to communicate is to guide your why why a member you are responsible for communication with your each and every member to guide them what is happening in the society and the in next slide this is a smart start program is uh, i have focused on the membership growth every society if we talk about any society if we talk about ishre if we talk about pakistan hvacr if we talk about uh, ashre if we talk about any society the society runs due to the membership if the society have membership then it can uh, run more fruitfully because the more minds when sit together they come up with the best ideas and best opportunities for their juniors for their fellows so a smart start program was introduced to reduce the membership fees because if a student is paying 20 dollar when he uh, come uh, join uh, his professional career in initial stages he he cannot afford the membership full membership fees for ashre because it is too high so ashre has worked a lot on it and he then ashre has started a program smart start program by this program you can get membership for 3 years on a discounted rate and it is the most i think discounted rate for ever for any uh, chapter for any uh, members because if you can say 400 dollar if you got a three year membership i think this program by this program you can enhance your membership you should go to your student branches and tell them if you get membership through smart start program you can save more than 400 dollars for three years so and ashray has also reduced the membership fees for developing economy uh, economy rates for economy, uh, developing economy uh, countries so we can benefit ourselves and we can benefit our members to get membership through this uh, smart start program and one more thing as student there are limitation in the benefits for a student uh, membership other uh, affiliate membership but if you get membership through this program you will access all extra benefits the benefits which is uh, entertaining by the full members so i uh can you hear me i, th I think some okay so i you or the my be i would request organizer to please mute everyone other than omar so omar i think please continue i think you are we can hear you pretty well Uh, yes. One minute already. You take this. The service manager. You would have one more interview, or it is the sales manager. Is there any question? Okay. So if there is a difficulty in using poor software, it is your excuse. It is not the money. Money. Can you mute everyone? Yes, yes. I have muted everyone. My excuse. to actually automate it and i give a very good reason it is pain like implemented in grp and how to... when i did it i got how to these things and how do i keep my cost low but if i i am not getting uh, is there um, so i think so that is our first get the Omar, you can mute yourself. Uh, you can unmute yourself, please. Uh, I'm assuming everybody does not have a laptop. Mani, someone Galaxy 30 is speaking. Mute him. Yeah, I have I have muted him. So, uh, Omar, can you please unmute yourself, please? So it is about uh, 20. Yes. Now I got unmute myself. So we were. <laughs> who is this samsung galaxy 3 j3 okay uh i was talking about this is the best program which can benefit our young student members to get themselves enrolled as a associate member and get maximum benefits from ashre which a full member can get uh, next slide please oh yeah ashu developing leader award 
board was designed to recognize those members who started their involvement as employees, including yourself, uh, 1200 rupees budget for the year. Money, can you remove Galaxy M30? Uh, then, based on the tax. Okay. Actually, uh, th this award was uh, re uh, introduced to design uh, to recognize those members who started their involvement as soon as they joined ASRE. This award was totally uh, point-based and totally uh, clear to all the members because each and every member can apply for this award. And congratulations to Ashu, that he won uh, from our region. He won this award on our behalf. Congratulations to Ashu Gupta. And each and every member can apply for this award. This is not only, the, there are few awards. These are not only limited to the chairs or the regional vice chairs or any post. This is each and every member who has a valid membership and who has worked for this society in their region, in their chapter on society level, he can apply these for these awards and they, he can uh, also win the uh, win this award. This is the best opportunity for the recognition because these are these awards are uh, distributed during the winter and summer conferences in USA. And I also want to highlight Anuj Gupta because he was also the one of uh, our award winner. And I, I it's my I'm extremely sorry because I cannot highlight his name over here. Because I can, but I can uh, see Anuj Gupta very well done uh, because he is the shining star of our RL because he is working so hard in uh, for the betterment uh, for uh, young engineer in his uh, chapter and in region. Back up, boy. And now I would like to tell you that as uh, I have also uh, described, there are three uh, subcommittees: outreach category, personal development, and professional development. Our society, uh, YEA committee, has uh, announced that we are now giving awards in all three subcommittees' uh, activities. So it's a great opportunity for all our YEA members. Because uh, I also want to highlight one more thing, because most of the people don't know about these opportunities and they are not applying for these awards. Because as I'm uh, the regional vice chair and I was the member of a jury for... Uh, finalizing the award uh, winners, then I was astonished because the, we, the region at large, has the maximum number of YEM member in the world. And unfortunately, there was none representation, none, uh, no one has applied for the award. I don't know why. I, I think they don't know or they are not following or uh, they are not going through these uh, websites. I think you must go to website and get uh, get yourself involved in YEA activity because it is the best opportunity to recognize yourself for your services, what you are doing in your chapter. Okay, in this slide, I would like, I want to tell you because uh, it is a comparison because I when I was appointed as RVC Regional Vice Chair in 2017, July, at that time, our membership was 739 members. And now when we are sitting in uh, April, because uh, I have got the data on quarterly basis, so I have uh, found till January 2020, we are 897, 897 members, which is a great achievement by RIL because we have increased our mem YEA membership growth to 21%. I think this credit goes to our all chapters. As Chandigarh chapter is the new one, it is not uh, added in this graph because uh, after uh, uh, July, we can add Chandigarh chapter in this, but I would congratulate the Akshay and Mani Khanna for gathering all the YA member because uh, if uh, I have got this uh, YA uh, membership graph from the website, Chandigarh has been YA member and Akshay. You have a lot of work to do to increase YA members because the, the, the membership brings the more opportunities to the chapter. If you have more of a membership growth, if you have more mem YA members, you can win more awards, you can uh, get more opportunities by your seniors, by your region, by your chapters. So I think it is a great time as we are uh, off from our offices. So I think we, we can spare our time to get uh, and focus on one point to get maximum membership. Target YA membership, 
I'm again uh, emphasizing on the membership growth because a chapter gain get maximum opportunities because there are a lot of funds, a lot of scholarship which, for which you can apply. So I think if, uh, if you have a maximum uh, membership, so you can uh, shine yourself separately. So you can ask your regional chairs, you can ask from your sub-regional chairs, DRC and society level to uh, give you best possible uh, opportunities because you are, if you are doing best in this, that way. And one more thing, how can you increase your uh, YA membership? There are a lot of ways you can also uh, sh uh, show me or share with me uh, you, because uh, you can tell me about the ground re realities in your country and your chapter. So, but I, I would like to emphasize on these few uh, points. First of all, coordinate with your uh, student activities chair, arrange a program, a jointly organized program with student activities and YEA committee to organize a program, arrange a mixer, arrange a social gathering, arrange a uh, technical gathering, invite your seniors to arrange a technical seminar in universities, especially to those who are graduating this year or next year and motivate them and show them the, and show the best, best facilities the SRA is giving them. And uh, can you go back to, can you back, uh, uh, go back to the last slide? Sure. Yeah, there. I was also uh, I was also emphasizing you must uh, talk to your co-worker. If the firm where you are working, you know the people who are under 35, you can uh, motivate them, you get them on uh, and ask them and uh, ask them to get membership. And by these ways, you can uh, increase your YEA membership growth in, in your chapter. Next, please. YEA chapter activities. There are a lot of ideas. I know you must have a lot of uh, good ideas than me, but I have highlighted few of them because the, uh, when I'm getting the report from the ch different chapters, and uh, I feel very good because all the chapters are working the, in the best in their chapter for the betterment of YA and they all have different marvelous attracting ideas which they are uh, uh, organizing in their chapter. You can organize technical tours, you can uh, organize uh, social gatherings, you can uh, organize uh, SV Essential, you can also uh, organize different uh, uh, works which is beneficial for, the, for your surrounding, for the peoples. I think the main purpose of these activities is to motivate, actually, the, the ASHRA give the idea of networking. The, this is the best platform for networking. If I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you people, I think this platform is given by the ASHRA, by this ASHRA. If I know few people in your chapter, Mani, Akshay, Anuj, Ashu, Akash Bhai, if, if, if I know about uh, all of these, so I think this is all due to this platform which the Asia Society has given us. And I think we can also use this platform for, for uh, our benefits, for personal, professional benefits life. If I need any information regarding any technical knowledge, I can get in touch, I can contact them, and they will entertain me as easily because this, is, this platform has connected all of us on one platform, which is Asia, Asia Family. Being a member of, uh, of this family, uh, I think we can benefit one, all, all of us in a better way. And the second thing, have an event to it. it actually, uh, most of the, I, I think every chapter is organizing uh, an event in their chapter, but most of chapter, what they do, they do not share their event details, their pictorial evidences, because if you are working in your chapter, I think these activities or these, uh, your efforts must be, must be uh, must be uh, showcast to others, to other society members, to to for to giving you credit because you are doing for the betterment of this society, for better betterment of your member, for acknowledgement. I must uh, I must say you must share all the even details to me to your YCC or the, the, I have also added the email ID of society. You can share uh, all the even details to them because. It is the best time 
to showcase your skills, your chapter skills, and your efforts for the society to other people that what you are doing in your chapter. Yeah, I can see um, uh, a lot of faces from RL in this group, in, in this uh, photo. I think uh, because as we have distributed this presentation, the few slides will be presented by uh, Akash, Akash Bhai. So I'm ending my presentation here, but I, will, I would like to emphasize the YCC because the YCC by a committee chair has got a lot of responsibilities because he is the bridge point. He is the main point amongst the YA member and amongst the RL society, RL and society because he is the man person he must it it is his responsibility to can inf get information for all the awards all the activities from the society and share and pass all this uh, information to the uh, ya member for their benefit for their guidance so i think akshay you have a, you have uh, got a lot of responsibilities and you must work for the betterment of your ya member because all YA member cannot be connected directly to the original officer or society officer. So it's your, it's your responsibility to get the best information regarding what they need from the society and share all these uh, information with uh, your all YA member. Thank you, Omar sir. In the end, I would like to thank you all for being with us today. I hope session would have been beneficial and helpful for you. If you need any information, any guidance, you can email me, WhatsApp me. I will try my level best to reply you on uh, on earliest and guide you because this family has has great importance in our life. So I think best of luck all of you. Thank you all. Okay, now we are moving towards session two. Mr. I would like to invite Mr. Akash Preji, please continue your presentations as per your schedule. Thank you, Akshay, and thank you, the Chandigarh chapter. Uh, can we go to the next slide? Yes, before we start officially, uh, it is a great thing that Chandigarh chapter, being the newest chapter in RAL, has got 26 members of YA out of probably 50 or 60 members out of the whole membership. So that is a huge uh, achievement for the Chandigarh chapter and I'm sure that the money and Akshay would take this forward in the future, would have more of uh, EA members in the committee also. And we can have uh, great support from EA for the Chandigarh chapter in the future. So the leadership you, as Omar has said in the presentation, is one of the programs which is a flagship program by the EA committee. This program is uh, very unique. It gives an opportunity to a YA member who gets selected out of the whole lot of people who apply for this particular program and they get to follow or shadow the ASHRAE vice president. Uh, there are four vice presidents of ASHRAE and during the annual or the winter meeting, they are along with them since morning 6 o'clock or probably uh, till late night 11 o'clock also across the day. And they go into every meeting which the ASHA Vice President goes in. So that's a very, very, very huge experience which these people get. And I have been fortunate in the past that I was selected uh, for this uh, leadership view in the past. And I got fantastic experience out of it. it. It puts you right in the spot if you want to take on your ASHA career to new heights. And I'm also sure that Anuj who is sitting out here, he is also selected in the past uh, Latest, not past also, just few conference back. And can we mute, unmute uh, Anuj out here? You can yes, uh, I, yes, yes, I am here only. Anuj, can you just share because you are the latest one who has been selected uh, as leadership view. You can just switch in for a couple of minutes and say how was the overall experience was, then we continue from Right. Uh, thank you so much, Akash. And thank you so much, Umer Bhai, uh, for like uh, giving the opportunity. And uh, thank you, Chandigarh Chapter, for organizing this uh, fabulous webinar for all the YA members. So uh, I am sharing my leadership experience. Like I uh, took the ASHRAE membership, not like 10 years before. I just took the membership in 2015, which is like five years before from now. And uh, when I took the membership, I attended one uh, YLI event, which Mr. Uh, Omerji shared about in the presentation YLI, which is a young 
uh, YA Leadership International. So that was the first platform which I got to know about other people uh, of Ashray from different countries. Later, I uh, I was I I got to know about the leadership you and leaders are from uh, various uh, programs uh, in my chapter. Then uh, from that year only, I started to apply for uh, that leadership you. Leadership you is uh, one of the uh, best program for Ashray YA because uh, it is uh, it is the best opportunity for the uh, people who are the below 35 years and uh, who uh, who can shadow uh, uh, who can shadow the vice president of the society. So I was applying since 2016. So I didn't get that uh, opportunity in 2016 because I was uh, I was the uh, this uh, joined uh, recently joined Ashray that time. So I didn't get the opportunity and uh, but I applied that time. Uh, uh, similarly, I, uh, I again next year I again uh, apply for the leadership view, but uh, then uh, again I uh, like I didn't uh, get the opportunity. At some other people got got the opportunity, so uh, I applied like a three to four uh, three to four years. Then uh, in the uh, last two years, I got like a, I, I was selected as a top eight people across the globe, top eight people in a uh, whole YA. But only the four people can be selected. So that time, or uh, that was the time which was not uh, with me. So uh, I was not got the opportunity. But last year, in 2019, uh, in 2019 February, uh, in March 2019, I got the email that I am the uh, I am the top. I am the one who is at the top four, like uh, from the India and the Deccan chapter. So uh, because that the time, because I was I have attended all various programs, various conferences at my chapter at my regional level as well. And uh, as a YA chapter chair, I attended the CRC meeting also in the Turkey in, uh, and then uh, uh, Jordan. So that's the things like I, ha I have, uh, I, I, uh, I, parted, uh, I participated as a volunteer in various programs of Ashray. So that HQ committee uh, uh, saw my uh, active involvement. So they uh, took me as a leadership you. So the, that's, a, that's a thing like, a, if you are not getting the uh, if you are not getting a, a result in one time, don't uh, be uh, don't cry. You will get very soon, but you have to be apply every time. So there's the things I I'm keep uh, telling myself. And in last year, what uh, what was what was the good thing? Uh, I go, I got leadership you as well as, as I got uh, the YA Individual Excellence Award along with the leadership you. That was the plus point for me. Like uh, I traveled to US so. I got the opportunity to uh, travel to Kansas City last year in June. So I, I met uh, various people. I shadowed the Mick Chandler, who who is uh, right now the treasurer of the society. I uh, I sh uh, shadowed him, and I attended all the whole lot of eight days activities, eight days from morning to till night, with the vice president of the society and the with lot of uh, great stalwarts of Ashray from uh, from technical society to different societies. I attended every. Society meeting. I attended the XCOM, which is the executive committee, the closed room meeting. I got the opportunity to attend those meetings as well. I met. I had a very good. Uh, I because last year uh, I met an astronaut also because there was a one plenary session. There was an astronaut of from NASA also came as a speaker. So I met that person also. So it was a very fantastic, fantastic opportunity for all the YAs. So if you are uh, active YA in your chapter and your reason do apply for leadership you you will not get uh, don't uh, cry and don't uh, be sad if you do not get chance in a one time but you will get chance very soon because a lot of yas are uh, uh, leadership is one of the things like uh, you can get before 35 only so i uh, i am the lucky one i got in only the 25 years age so it's a <laughs> it's a good time for me and i applying for others uh, opportunities like a uh, leaders and other awards as so that's and it doesn't mean that you will you can apply again for that. I'm sure I would also like to apply again for it, but <laughs> we, you won't be able so, to do that. Akash, can I can I share one video because uh, which actually is prepared after the Kansas conference? I, yes, so I we are running out of time and we were given okay. No problem. No problem. Right, right. Yes. So so if you can just go back to leadership, you once again. The previous slide, please. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, as Anuj rightly said, there are only four candidates who can select it for every conference, and it was a very hit program by the A committee. So, what happened that we were getting a lot of uh, applicants for this particular program. 
So what happened was that we decided that it is not fair that we are only allowing four people. We can do something so that more people can be part of this. So what happened that there are only four vice presidents. You cannot have two people following up with each vice president. But we had 13 or at that particular time when we started, we had 13 DRCs. Currently, we have 15 DRCs. So that's a director regional chair. We have 15 regions. So if you can go to the next slide, Akshay. So we decided to have another program which is called as Leaders, which is the leadership development through regional support. What we have done is that we would be selecting one candidate minimum per conference from each region. And we would be asking them to shadow the DRC throughout the summer or the winter meeting. So four people for leadership you plus 15 more for leaders program. So we have 19 individuals now going to either the annual or the summer meetings, which takes the benefits of all these things. This is also a program which is supported by the society and the region also. Region pays some amount of uh, this uh, travel plus the stay and also the HQ uh, does that. But in this, you also have to have the support of your chapter also. So once the chapter gives you that support that they would be also supporting you financially to travel to uh, either the summer or the winter meetings, then you can apply for this. So can we go to the next slide? Right. These were the two were the programs where you can actually participate in the summer or winter meetings, but there are other benefits also for the year people. The other thing is HVAC Design Training Scholarship. Uh, for many of you, you might not know that Ashley conducts uh, the training essential programs, which is the uh, HVAC Design Level 1. This is the most sought out of training program from the Ashley Learning Institute. And fortunately, we have a training center now in Dubai, which is quite operational since last uh, four years, if I'm not wrong now. And they have fantastic uh, you know, teachers also out there. So what we have done is uh, for this program, there would be five applicants who would be selected two times in a year. The fees for the registration for this training would be waived off if you are selected in this. And the fees are to the order of around $500. So round one happens in May and the training happens in July or December and round two happens in November and the training happens in January or June. We have people in the past who have got selected for this uh, program also from our region. Yeah, right Omar? Yes. Yes. So uh, please make sure that this is also populated in your chapters and whosoever is listening to this webinar that we can uh, have people applying for this and the chapter can support you to travel to Dubai to attend this particular program. So we, we will make sure that we have enough leaders who can pursue the chapters to support the candidates if they're selected for this particular training also. The biggest thing, the biggest advantage what I had over the span of my 10, 11 years of experience from Ashley are the TCs. There is no age bracket for a TC to be a part of a TC. Technical committees is what is called as a TC. There are currently more than 100. 93 is not there. It might be more than 100 also right now which are going through. But the main learning comes from these TCs. And if I'm not wrong, uh, over 30% of the TC members are young members, right? If I'm not wrong? Yes, you're right. So uh, it is not a room filled out with people with white hair and beard and all. There are young people in these TCs we should become part of TCs. It is not at all difficult. There is a link at the end of uh, in this presentation also. You can click here and if you can click it here, you will go directly to a page where it categorizes all the uh, TCs. You can be select your own uh, liking TC or the lighting subject which you have and you can be part of it. For initial times, you will become a provisional corresponding member in which you'll get all the communications what the TCs are all about and what they are doing, how they are, you know, collaborating with the handbook committees or the publication committees, the standards committee, you will get all the details of that. So once you're interested in that and start giving your uh, replies to their emails or howsoever you are getting interested and giving your advice to the TCs that this is not the way this can be thought of and all, then you can become a proper member of and if you are fortunate enough, if you are going to the summer or the annual meetings, you can actually be present for this TC meetings in person. 
and uh, you can take advantage out of it. So that was it. So the next slide is the networking and information exchange. Again, networking can, we are seeing right now, we are networking over the net people. I can see participants who are from India, who are from Pakistan. I have people who are from Egypt also, and some people are from Middle East also. So this is the kind of networking which people get benefit out of it. And there are other ways of networking, like you have the A page on the Twitter, on the Instagram. The Twitter is quite the uh, active handle of EA and we can see a lot of uh, tweets coming from all the people from RAL also, Anuj was quite active into it. We have a Facebook page, you can upload all the pictures from the chapters program which the EA members are doing. Uh, next slide please. So these are the uh, few of the uh, links which people can go and uh, LinkedIn is also a very good way. For EA members, there are good amount of opportunities which are also put in by EA members and you can have some internships or actually job offerings from that particular group also. Next slide. This were the two uh, links which are there, how to join a technical committee. And I'm sure people who are sitting out here and listening to this, some of you might be a provisional uh, responding member or actual member to the TC. Please join in on these TCs and you will really see the benefit out of it. There is also one more uh, guide which gives you how to take the maximum advantage of EA membership. And the links are shown out here. The next slide. So I was asked to share my experience how I was benefited from Ashray. So I joined Ashray in 2009. And this is probably my 10th year, the 11th year as the membership. So first in 2010, uh, I got selected at the BOG level of my chapter. I was just a BOG member at the chapter level. And I started working as Anuj and Omar and Ashwa said in the past that, you know, once you need to give in your time to the chapter, you need to participate in a lot of technical programs, give them support, be it like work or just being present, uh, by that you can you can do all those things and once you have interest developed into yourself that uh, how the chapter is operating then you can grow in the chapter level so next what happened was that i got selected as the chair for the students activity committee at the chapter level so i get to interact with a lot of student branches at my chapter and i that was my first time i went to a crc which is the uh, regional conference for our region at large that was in Abu Dhabi at that particular time. And I saw a lot of people from different parts of the world attending a CRC. So that got me more interested that uh, there are different people from different business backgrounds, from different ethnic backgrounds, and it is good to learn from all those people. So then I started that, how can I take it to the next level? And what Omar is right now, that uh, YRC is now converted as the RVC for Ye. During my time when I got selected as uh, YRC in 2012 it was and uh, that time it was not a grassroots committee for you and we had to go through a lot of trouble to get all the programs approved from the society but being the most dynamic committee of ASHRAE it was uh, really surprising the support what we got at that time also from the HQ. The leaders program which you are hearing right now is what we started at that particular time in 2013 and 2014 was the first, 2015 was the first time when we had anybody from uh, ASHRAE region at large being a leaders candidate. So that was an achievement for us. The YLI was started at that particular time also. We didn't have any programs happening outside of the Northern America part for EA. And we thought that the most uh, active regions as in the membership is concerned is people outside from the US. So we should have a program for people who are uh, the other part of the world and not in the Northern America itself. So that's where we had the first uh, program in Sri Lanka. If Ashu is here, Ashu, can you hear us? If you can unmute Ashu. Akshay? Yes, yes, Agash. Yes, Agash, I'm here. So, can you remember the Sri Lanka meeting, what we had as YLI, what we say it right now? Uh, sorry, Akash, I was not part of the Sri Lanka meeting. After that, I become an ASHRAE member. Oh, okay. Sri Lanka, yeah. Oh, I thought you were there. Uh, so, sorry. 
So that was the first time uh, when we had an international event for year outside of the US, and we had four presidents of ASHRAE who were there with us at that particular training. So we have evolved a lot in terms of YLIs. Also, it is again a very great program for people out from India and from other part also. We have one which happened in Dubai where a lot of people have attended in the past. And if Omar, what where will the next YLI be? If you have decided you want to go, no, not it is not decided yet. Okay, so once we are through with this major pandemic which is going on, think, one, uh, while w, the both while W has been cancelled now. Yes, the, yes, I have received uh, the notifications. Yes. So uh, that took me on for three years from 2012 to 2015 as the regional level of my participation. And uh, after that, surprisingly, after that, I became the president of my chapter. So I had got a lot of inputs from my learnings from Leadership U, from my YRC role. And then I became the society uh, chapter president. And a lot of things we implemented at our chapter that all the people can benefit from uh, my experience also. So we have a lot of people, PA members in my chapter also who are currently at the BOG positions or different positions. I would encourage the people from the Chandigarh chapter and all the other people who are listening to this webinar, please include why the YA members into this committees and the BOGs and chairs also. We have seen some fabulous results coming out from YA members from BOG of different chapters. I can see Nadia who is sitting out here and listening to this. She's also a fantastic uh, candidate for uh, BOG members and she is in the BOG for Egypt chapter also, if I'm not wrong, Cairo chapter. So that took me on for the re society level participation. So after I completed my term as the uh, uh, president for the chapter, I got an opportunity to be the RVC, which is a regional vice chair for the research promotion committee. This is a very important committee to ASHRAE in which we collect uh, the money for uh, whatever research what ASHRAE is doing. And it is a proud moment for me to say that we as RP committee collects more than uh, $2.8 million every year for the research and the standards and the handbooks which ASHRAE comes out with. So it has been a very privileged uh, journey for me for my ASHRAE career right from a UG member till to this date that it's an RVC for a research promotion committee. So that, being, uh, that was more or less the journey which I have gone through it. So I urge all the EA members to please continue, as Anuj also said in the past, don't be disheartened if you don't get chances at certain programs in the first go. Please continue for one, two, three, four, five times. And I'm sure that if you are capable enough, you will get your chance at the right particular time. And uh, Next slide, if you can just take my learnings out of it. So fellowship has always been the first main takeaways from my learnings. I can see Omar out here. I have friends across Turkey. I have friends in Greece. I have friends in Africa, in Egypt. And that's, that's what the main thing is, that fellowship is what uh, we get out of this kind of association with any society. Next is commitment. So, you know, it is very important for young people that we are committed to whatever we say as we are going to give away. So whenever you are part of a committee at chapter level or society or regional level, your outputs are committed that it is expected from you that at least some work which you will do would be resulting, you know, uh, that you have been assigned to. Also, the third is leadership, that uh, we learn a lot of leadership skills out of it. We don't... Uh, see challenges that we don't have how to interact with people who are much above your stature in age or as well as in, in actual, uh, you know, can be a DRC or a president or a vice president of the society, but it is so easy for you to talk to them and learn from them. So leadership also is a very good learning for me. Networking would always be the first part. I'm an entrepreneur and I, I get a lot of, uh, advantages of the networking from Ashray. I can get a lot of suppliers. I can get a lot of links in my business that how uh, to run those, all those things. So it is always important to network. Running meetings. We do a lot of meetings these days. Be it, be, you can be a junior level or a senior level people, but you learn a lot from Ashray how to run meetings. We have to be very efficient when you're 
time and what message you want to get through. That's what communication is also all about, that you learn what you want to take it forward. Global exposure. I have, you know, it gives you an opportunity to go around the world to the different CRCs, different locations, and you learn from a lot from your travel also. And last but never the least, it is the technical knowledge which every one of us uh, wants from Ashray. Once you become the part of TCs, then you understand the real advantage of Ashray. Whatever interest you, you might be a controls guy, you might be a roommate distribution guy, or a chiller guy, or a refrigeration guy. But if you if you are in the right TCs and if you go through all the communications, what the TCs are doing, you will get the right amount of knowledge which you guys require. So this was my learnings was if uh, Akshay, if you have, you can go to the next slide, just give in my details if anybody wants to write on to us. So that's my details, my number and my email address, like Omar had sent, uh, shared his also, this is mine. The presentation also would be shared to you as in the form of recording also. So if you have any doubts, any way you want to pursue your Asha career, you can approach us, me or Omar are always there, Ashu is also here. We will guide you to take it forward. And any questions? Do we have time for questions? Do we want to take that, Akshay or Mani? Some people are asking questions on the on chat. So people are responding there. So, okay. so someone asked that if the if uh, the below age is 35, the people the members can automatically be a YA member. So I think already the uh, amount money and. Uh, yes. So there is no different category like an associate or an affiliate or a member grid. So there, there is no separate A category. If you are below 35, it is already that uh, you are considered as a A category person. That's not there. You become a A member automatically. Okay. Next question which they have. So what is the fees? People are asking what are the fees? Fees. Uh, can you go to the Smart Start program? If, if that slide was there, that gives in the details for the fees. Uh, for developing for three years. No, Omar, that is for smart start. For regular people, uh, once they fall into the uh, developing economies category, it is $110, if I'm not wrong, per year for a member. And for the first time, if you're a YA member and if you register for the first time, you still get some benefit. Uh, you get a discount of around $30, $40. I'm not exactly too sure. But that is only for one year. One and year. You will be if, if you uh, count the, for the three years, it will be totally, it will be $110 for three years membership. If you go through the Smart Start program. In first year, I think it will cost $20. In second, $45. In, in third, uh, round of $55 or $50. If we uh, compile all uh, this, so it will be around uh, $110. Dollar. I can see a lot of Chandigarh people asking questions. I'm really happy that a lot of members are there at Chandigarh. Camp members, and I'm sure that uh, Chandigarh chapter in the future would come out as one of the bright shining chapters once they have gay members into their POGs also. Yes. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Akash and Umar, for your participation and great support. And thanks to Tony and Ashu as well for providing their valuable contribution to this webinar mm -hmm. today. As it was organized uh, during this critical time, and uh, many of the webinars are being organized at the chapter level. So uh, it is great learning we all of, uh, had during this webinar today. And uh, thank you all for your participation. So keep participating and learning with Ashray Chandigarh chapter. So our next webinar is on 14th of April 2020 at 5.30 p.m. So which would be majorly on the BMS, automatic controls. Uh, we are organizing this. And uh, thank you very much. If you have any, anyone have any question, so he or she can unmute uh, by themselves and can ask question please. Uh, first of all, uh, Mani Khanna, I would like to thank Sir Rishi Mittal yeah. because uh, he is also online here. Sir, thank you very much for sharing so your Omar, Rishi, Omar, 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 Omar and Mani, we have, I think, on the call Mr. Rishi Mittal, RNCR, and Mr. Nitin Nayak, who is the region chair, also in this call. I think we would like to take 
some oh, word from them. Nice like actually, why he members? So uh, I would request uh, Richie sir or Nitin Naik sir to say something. Nitin, can you hear us? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah, actually, congratulations, uh, Chandigarh chapter. I'm very happy to see that you guys have such a robust uh, YA membership. I think this is a lesson for all chapters in our region. We need to increase our YA membership. And one request is we need to have more YA members on the BOG of each and every chapter. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Do we have Richie also on this? Yes. I think it seems Richie, Richie is busy on some other calls also. Uh, <laughs> so, great, uh, I think. Sir, can you spare a time for young engineers as well? <laughs> I guess he is busy. Yeah. I think there's another call is going on. Yeah. I'm sending so I think, Mani, can we close this now? Yeah, we can close this uh, if no uh, no one have any questions further. So we can close this now. I think in the end, I just request to everyone, each and every member, please be active in ASHRAE. Become your committee member in the chapter, in respective chapters. And part of that, there is a lot of, lot of gain which you can get it. And a lot of, uh, I think, uh, the, the, the different exposure you can get as an ASHRAE YA member. So, but you will get to know when you get entered in that. You have to be very active in that. Like I can see the money and uh, Akshay is very active. They are conducting a webinar every week and people are getting so much knowledge because last webinar also around 200 people and next webinar, which we are the technical on controls. So I request each and everyone to join those webinars and get more understanding uh, because these webinars are free of cost. We are getting a knowledge at our home. So please following Ashray Standigal chapter Facebook or the YouTube channel to follow what, what coming next in that. Akshay and Mani, we are getting a lot of requests for uh, sharing of this presentation. Just make sure that you share this presentation to everybody. Yes, so yes, that yes sir. Uh, and we are also on no, no, no. uh, digital channel. So we have created one digital channel on YouTube, uh, digital channel Ashray Chandigarh. So it will be automatically uploaded after 30 minutes of this presentation. That's the way to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Omar sir, and thank you, Kastel ji, for your valuable time. So, so Mani, we can, we will go to end this meeting and uh, stay safe and stay home. Thank you very much.